Should a guy who's made a father without his choice be involved physically or financially in the kid's life? No. Why? Oh, sorry, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, think it on. depends on circumstance. Like, what is the circumstance of having the kid? Were you trapped? Like, was it like, did you know that you were having the kid? Was it planned? It all depends on what the situation is, of course. Like, if you didn't, if, if she's, you know, turning around and she's just like, yeah, no worries, I'm on contraception. Then two months later, she's like, I'm pregnant with your kid. You need to financially support me. You need to do this, you need to do that. It's a different circumstance to being in a relationship Not with someone. Not really, because at the end of the day, you slept with her. And... Yep. To be honest, yeah, but you're lying. girls, be, no, girls is the, not every woman you're gonna trust her, and guys <laughs> need to have a bit more respect for themselves than always putting it on the woman to be like, okay, yeah, she's on contraception, whatever. The only thing that's gonna prevent you from having a kid is if you wrap up, and sometimes that and all splits and whatever. And then she, the woman as well, shouldn't um, then put a guy in a situation that he that she knows that he's not gonna want be, um, wanna be in. So I think once you sleep with someone you have to be prepared for one of those consequences because at the end of the day, a lot of guys, they're not safe. They're not safe out here because I was even having a conversation with one of my friends and he was like, oh, he's just lucky at the moment that he hasn't got a child. Like, he's, it's just literally based on luck because it's all about excitement and this and the feel and whatever, whatever. So at the end of the day, if you sleep with someone, just be prepared. Yeah, you always have to be prepared. If you do the deed, you've got to be prepared. But what I'm saying is, like, in terms of, like, expecting financial or physical support, that's completely different to being prepared. Like, So why should it only be on the woman? I'm not saying because it should be on the woman. the woman has more responsibilities. It's your body. So, first of all, even if you're having sex with someone, you consent to having sex, but not having a child with that person. Mm -hmm. So if you don't get pregnant, I don't think it's then... Because if it was the other way around, where the guy wants a child and the girl doesn't, the girl can go have a way and go and have an abortion. Sure. So why does then, why would you then tell them it's a 50-50, it's not really a 50-50 thing? No, I'm not saying it's a... It should be a 50-50. A 50 50 50. I've, I've, right. I've got mixed feelings about mm. it. I feel like for the woman to still keep the baby, like for me personally, I think if you're going to keep a child, mm. it's sad, but it's the times that we live in, you should, you should keep that child for you, not mm. because of who the dad is or if the dad's going to be around mm. and that should be your decision that I want to be a mum to this child regardless of who supports me. But I feel like at the end of the day, it takes two people to make a child. Cliche, exactly. but it's yeah. a fact. So at the end of the day, if you if you contributed your sperm, you might have to contribute some money towards that. And if you don't want to do that, then you should do everything to make sure that she don't get pregnant. Yeah, exactly. but even you can do like when a condom, that condom can still break and then yeah. you're then pregnant. A lot of times people feel like, oh, because you're a woman, your body carries a lot of weight. Even a guy can come have sex with you, go to, go to another girl's house and have sex with another girl and then the girl gets pregnant. So it can do that multiple times, but your body has to carry that. You have to walk around nine months and then 18 years later, walk around with a child. So that responsibility is kind of on you to then make that decision of, do you know what? And there's not a lot of male contraceptive out there as well. Mm. So you can go out and get an implant. You can go out and get so many different things. And you choosing not to do that is very responsible of you to not do that. And I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, because I feel like it's a 30, 70 sort of situation where the girl has 70 percent. Like it's your it's literally of a, of a choice to keep the baby or if you don't yeah. want to keep that baby and take yeah, it off your body. Not fair. I don't think it's fair for a guy for you to sit around and say, oh, because we both we both wanted to do it. Yes, I'm, I had to have sex with you, but I didn't choose to have a child with you. Now, but you know the consequences of having the, that, unprotected that's not, that's sex. Not, no, no, yeah. that's the thing. It's not just about Even having, if I was to wear a condom, sex. the condom could still break. So it's not what mock do you want me to do? But no, you as a woman women should. should then take care of yourself. If I'm having sex with you, a lot of guys have asked girls, are you wearing? Are you? Do you have a pill? Are you? Are you on contraception? Like, yeah, yeah, sure. Well, that is. So what do you want me to do about that? He should okay, wrap but up. Even, forget even, if, up even if you did, though, even if you did, this is what I don't like as well, is that women sit there and be like, yeah, but it takes two to tangle. No, not really, because guess what? You're walking around fat, looking or not looking good for a very long time because you didn't listen and just think, you know what? Let me just sort myself out because mm. you have more all right let's say she's anti she's anti-abortion yeah she keeps a kid that's yeah? your problem no, no 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 if she's keep if she's kept the kid and now the guy and her aren't together should she expect the man to no. give her financial no. physical support that's to what i'm asking you, if, because there's if, a there's a very big um you know there's this bias towards how I men should pay child support but when a woman is like told to pay child support, everyone's a bit like, oh, why, why, is, she why, why is she, yes. why is he, or even like, since I missed the coming of like, Wait, get your, get the check or whatever think, it is. What are you saying? I you think don't. it should be fair. You know how when a woman has a baby, mm. normally it's always kind of in society, it's a bit taboo to be like, a guy shouldn't be supporting the, the mother of the child and the child. But when, um, you know, a guy and a girl are together and the woman's kind of um, got more money, She's kind of told it's it's okay if you don't support the guy. 
So you think a guy su- should support the woman? Yeah, and a, uh, vice versa in the situation. No, I completely disagree with that. If I don't, if I choose not to have a child, even we spoke, we had that conversation of no, I'm not ready to have a child right now. And then you choose to go on and then have a child outside of my concern, That's and I didn't agree though. to that. That's different. And even we're talking about potential instances where you haven't even had that conversation yeah. but you slept with each other and obviously pregnancy is a possible then outcome. that's why you should have a conversation or if even if you then get pregnant and then you maybe you didn't know about it and then six months into that situation or even whenever you do find out you're pregnant if you can't have an abortion anymore and we both sat down and said you know what i'm not ready to be a father i don't want to be part of this child's life i think the court or the judicial system should have a situation where you can both sit down mediate and say you know what I'm not going they to do, say you have the support. Yeah, no, not that's right, the word, but without yeah, the child support. Right. Without the child support, because I don't have a say in that. I didn't consent to having a child with you. Now my life, no, that's, if to me, if I was to get pregnant right now, and the guy says, no, what I'm going to do is, you're not, your name is not going to be on the birth certificate. It's my child. I'm taking full responsibility of that child. Yeah. I don't think guys should have to be forced into something they didn't want to do in the first place. Because now you're just, what? what's the point? Because that's my decision. I'm, tr- I'm choosing to keep that child. Yeah, no. So I'm I not going to go that. and chase a guy for a check or whatever. It's, if I'm having a child, I'm having a child with my full chest. Yeah. It's different, yeah, because we're talking about Drake. We're talking about someone who's a millionaire, yeah? yeah? We're talking about someone who's a celebrity. Like, at the end of the day, if you're a walk-in meal ticket, you're going to protect your goods. Like, mm. if, you, if you had a million pounds, you're not going to walk around with it in your pocket. You're going to put it in a safe. Same thing you should do with your sperm. Like, you need to know what you're doing. You're not the average guy out here. You are a walk-in bank. I'm not saying that, you know... Girls can't trap guys that have got money, but when you've got money, like you, you need to be, be more careful. careful. Yeah, like, of course. That's it. I, totally I think, agree I with think that. the only different situation when you could really say, I don't I don't think if someone two people sleep together, the girl gets pregnant, she chooses to have the child, that is not forcing you. I'm gonna stand with it. you know what the consequence is gonna be. There's been a situation in the new not recently, I think it was the last year, the year before, where this woman, they were married uh, I think her and her husband or either her partner, and they had uh, his sperm or whatever in the bank and um the sperm bank and then she went and fake his signature to have that child but they had separated they not going to be a couple anymore that is forcing that man to yeah, get yeah but that's just like that crazy. situation i would say yes or you know those cases where men say they were raped or drugged or whatever fair enough not really but, those, but on yeah. a regular yeah. day if you're sleeping pe- or sleeping with someone slinging Penis, hair there and everything. So why are you opening your legs and taking sperm like that as well? Yeah, why you need to be responsible too. So I didn't know you need to be responsible. Are you opening your legs for any guy? No, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, some people, some people don't always know that they're pregnant. That's what I'm saying as well. That's fine. Some people don't don't, know they're pregnant. But you're a woman. That's just irresponsible to me. I just don't understand. You need to have more control over your body. You're not responsible not knowing that you were pregnant. Yeah, you've just let someone. There are medical reasons why a woman don't always know that they're pregnant. I'm a woman. Some women go full nine months and don't don't even That's have what I'm saying. A sign I of anything. That. But even even but if you, you get your, your period, if you've had unprotected sex, you should always take pregnant sex regardless. Uh, regardless. What's the percentage of um, contraception? It don't matter. It's ninety. What's what? It's ninety nine point nine nine. Exactly. One percent always pops up. I know so many people. Who yeah, I know. I, know. I think we all know people. You can fall into that one percent. I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with that. My thing is be more responsible for your body. Both that's people need to. Yes, both I'm, people. And yeah, yeah. Both of them need to. Because the, it's the woman that's carrying that weight. No matter what it is, a woman is. Like, you have to walk around nine months with, with like a child that you don't even want to, and then you're working at eighteen years after with a child that you didn't even consent to in the first place. Why don't you just both avoid that from the get go? If you're gonna have sex with someone and you, you feel like you might be feeling some kind of way after you're not sure if this guy wants to keep it. check up like just go and have like what she was saying get a, do a test after mm. just don't be sitting there and thinking oh if i get pregnant i get pregnant so what that's yeah. very responsible that's what I'm saying. Like, i don't some, expect some people, financially i think the whole I think, the is, the, the I think it's very forced upon change. yeah the mentality needs to change obviously i don't feel like the whole responsibility should be on the woman alone guys as well when they're dating people or seeing someone or whatever they need to think like know who the hell they're sleeping with because some girls they could appear to be all nice and like she's well put together, but she could be a cycle just brewing, just waiting for you to drop mm. that seed in her to then um, F up your whole life. So guys as well, not um, obviously you get those things with a one night stand and all this whatever, but in, even in relationships, when people are together for however long and then they sleep together and guys just walk away from the situation because they didn't feel like in that time they don't want to have a child. Like, so what would you not, say in that situation? That is you're dating someone for a very long time and mm-hmm. then you then get pregnant, even though that's not their plan, but you're, mm-hmm. you obviously something happened to you, but would you have an abortion or would you like... No. 
you would keep the baby. Yes. And then, so just then would you expect him to, to take, support? Yes, he would because we both made that child. It's not It's not like a, a, a That's what I'm saying. Situation. I feel like people are being forced into... That's why I would feel like I'm being trapped. But she's also guy, being forced the day, no, but, to being a mother because because it's very yeah, easy. Woman, you know, it's very easy for someone though. to turn around and tell a woman, go and have an abortion. That's a very... That's not exciting. But before we get that, you want that woman to get. But before we get there... But a lot of people go and have after morning pill and they still have the baby. That's what I'm saying. Okay, but what she's saying is, if you're together, you you find out that you're pregnant, and then you have a conversation, even though you're in a relationship, and he says, "No, I don't want the baby." Are you getting rid or are you keeping it? Are you I'm keeping, keeping it? My child and then, I don't do you then expect abortion. me to then think Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It comes down to whether you name. believe in abortion or not. Hmm? No, but do you okay, then but if you kept it, do you expect him to support yes. it? Why? Because he's a child's father. I told you though, I don't no. want this child. I, that's fine. Are you that's okay fine. with before before the before that baby even? Um, but is that got from a financial? Before that physical. baby even got conceived, how do you know that the woman wanted to? She felt. It she don't matter also, if you wanted to or not. Well, so why? Now you're so why it matters now you're that do you want the check? Want no, you want the baby? Want the child is lying around, and the guy said, "You know what? I want this child." And you think, you know what? My life is going to get ruined if I have a child. Would you keep that child? And I, you don't want to. You don't me, even want the child. Personally, asking me personally, yes, I would keep my child because I don't guy. believe in. In I don't believe in abortion too, but my point I, is... I would, I would keep the child to take... too, but I wouldn't expect the guy to... That's exactly, exactly. that's my point. If you decide to keep the baby regardless of his and decision... And society doesn't expect that either, because like, look at the government, they pay child support. They know that because they know some guys are not willing to physically... So they're going to feed you into that position. As much as I might want, want him to do whatever, it's still down to what he does, but I'm not going to chase him to do it. Yeah, yeah but gonna, you're saying I, you expect. Hmm? You expect that yeah, if you I say that if you have a conversation and he says he doesn't want to be around mm -hmm. and you make that last decision with your body to what conceive I would say that though, baby, what I would why say though, you? What I would say, if I choose to keep though, the child, I would make sure that I'm good enough to take care of my child on my own. That's yeah, what I'm no, saying. No, no. I don't necessarily need you to be there. But she but might I want him to be there to raise the child. I think everyone wants, wants the dad their child of, have... their, um, of their child to be there, mm -hmm. wanting and saying no, that something some has don't. to be a certain some people way. Some people actually don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm saying for the majority, don't. for the majority, that's it's not, yeah. it's not, it's not, it's not something new. But if he's saying that he doesn't want to be there and you want to keep his baby for yourself, why should you expect him to provide when he did not want that? In the first place, like I don't. That but I don't think it's as much. Pro like I personally wouldn't care as much as providing as I would want him to physically be there. But to be honest with you, once I and sometimes as well, this is what women don't understand as well. If a guy's telling you that I don't want a child for me, don't mean I don't want you. It's just that I'm not ready for that. that yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I, I mean totally right respect now. that. And a lot of women lot of think, oh, because you don't want this baby, that means you don't want me at the same time. And that doesn't always work that way. It's just, it's just where you are in life and the stage you are in life at that moment. You could be 17, 18, 19, 20, or whatever age you are, and you don't want this child. You mm. don't want a child. And some girls. And they're saying, yeah, well, I'm pregnant now. You have to take over this responsibility. That's not my plan. That's but not her saying that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be there. So, so it, that's what I'm saying, though. But, but when we can both make a, like a decision on, okay, you know what? If you're going to keep this child, just know that I'm not going to be there for this child. I don't want to be there. Then that child is on your name. I have no, I don't want any claim to this child. Mm -hmm. Then that's your responsibility. And that's I feel like fine. that's a logical point of view to look yeah. at. But some girls will force you, start knocking on your door, bring, leaving the baby at your doorstep. Yeah, th all then that that's where you, that's when they go into that whole craziness. That's what I'm saying. If I'm going to, if, if a guy says to me, he doesn't want to be there, that, that I can't He has every him. right He's to say that. He's got every right to yeah. say that. Yeah. But yeah. if I'm going to do it, then at least I know that I'm good. My family's good. That I don't necessarily need him to be there. Mm -hmm. But but still in 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 all fairness though if if it came down to that i would still want him to physically be there finance is not a problem for me but physically be there because i'm a person who's grew up with both of my parents in my life my parents are still they married. Should have about that decision but that's what i'm saying that, that you no what i'm saying you don't you can't always um plan for these situations because sometimes it does happen mm. but if it did fall on me that way i will make the decision to look after my child myself yeah. but the door is still always open I, and I wouldn't necessarily have resentment towards him because I know that was his his um, his point of view from the start. So I think a lot of times as well, females need to really like think about what they're doing as well. Yeah. If a guy says he's not going to be there, he's not going to be there. Don't be chasing him, popping up at the club where he is and oh, Taekwondo, take yeah, care of your child. That's just crazy that is just shit. extra. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You need to know like, okay, if you're going to go through with this, this is the actual reality mm -hmm. and don't be forcing someone into doing something. Yep. Uh, I agree.